Hey, well, tomorrow is Canada Day and I'm heading out on a five day, four night trip. Um, I am packing uh, my food right now and uh, since you guys seem to really love my food videos, I thought I would do a quick video on what I'm bringing. Now this is uh, supposedly a tough loop. It's 21 portages and um, I want my food to be very light and very simple for this trip. So you'll find it's a little bit different than the food that I brought for the other trips. Um, and some of it is the same. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and uh, I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through everything very quickly. Very, very simple, easy meals. I'm bringing one little tiny small pot uh, that also is a cup. And um, for starters here, I have four oatmeals. I have two with strawberries. I have one with cinnamon, apple and cinnamon, uh, and one with peaches, all dehydrated fruits. Um, over here I have my sunscreen, I have a 30 for my body and a 60 SPF for my face. In here I have a nice little bag of candies. Uh, every morning I just throw a couple of these in my pocket. Um, you know, when I have a hard portage or something like that or I just need a little sugar. Um, I have one of these. So I've got some Starburst and some Jolly Ranchers. Next to that I have some mini Snickers bars. I did have some peanut butter cups, but um, they're gonna melt. It's supposed to be really, really hot. so. I've um, taken them out. I've got some sesame snaps. There's three in each package. Double stuffed budgios. Now I have a couple of these uh, different kinds of bars um, that I'm trying this trip uh, from MEC when I bought some of my um, dehydrated food. Uh, they were on sale, so I don't usually eat Cliff Bars. The protein in them usually bugs me, but I'm not in a flare and I'm not having problems with my colitis, so I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, this one's chocolate almond fudge. And this one is one called uh, Cliff Builders. I guess it's by the same company. And it's, I think, chocolate peanut butter or peanut butter crunch or something like that. Then I have uh, four um, of the Nature Bally Bars. There's uh, two Apple Crisp and two um, Roasted Almond. Uh, I had to switch these up from the granola bars I usually use because they have a chocolate coating on the bottom. And they get really, really messy and they melt right now. It's just too hot. So uh, I've got a bag of cashews. And I've got that Scratch Labs uh, rehydration drink that um, I got in my Nomadic kit. I thought that would be kind of uh, good to try out um, for this trip. Over here, I just have my toiletries. I have my um, chapstick deodorant. And um, in here, I have my Crusher Brush tablets that my friend Sue got for me um, and my toothbrush. Over here for lunches, um, I brought four tunas. Now, I'm not eating four tunas. I usually just eat, I'll probably eat two of them. And then the other two days, I'll have um, some German salami that I brought and I have some two-year-old cheddar in here and some cheesecloth uh, I've got about five wraps all different sizes to go with them two of the uh, tunas are just spare meals in case something happens and uh, The other two are to eat. I also have some mayonnaise packets and I have some moon cheese this time This is Gouda moon cheese from uh, MEC For the dinners I have a happy yak cheese and mushroom risotto I have not tried that yet, it's from MEC. Uh, from OTG Meals, uh, Randy sent me over a shrimp spaghettini. Um, looking forward to trying some more of the OTG Meals this summer. Um, just waiting for the stock to replenish. Uh, I've got some Alpine creamy beef and noodles with mushrooms. And uh, over here I have uh, the spaghetti dinner that I showed you guys in one of the other videos. Um, it's vodka sauce and I have dehydrated uh, red and yellow peppers in here and some spaghetti and I didn't get to use it on my last trip so I'm just repurposing it. And then uh, one of these lucky nights, I will get to have a dark chocolate cheesecake dessert. I brought that on a couple of trips, so far I haven't eaten it, but it's nice to have it just in case. So all of that is going to fit very easily into my ursac and uh, that is gonna go in the top of my backpack. And um, I'm also adding uh, what you don't see here, there's two packages of garlic fettuccine alfredo and um, a basmati rice. So just to have some extra food just in case. And that is all. So I've got all the food in the Ursac and as you can see, there's still quite a bit of room in there. Um, I weighed it and it weighs uh, five pounds. It's just a, a people scale. So it's probably not like, you know, maybe it's four and a half or 5.25, I don't know, but it's around five pounds and um, the other food, the food that I did on my last video, uh, came to eight, so three pounds difference, not a huge deal, but overall, uh, I will probably feel it. 
Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope you guys are having a great camping season.